Today, I thought I'd answer a simple question that I had recently about menus. And one of the most powerful features of WordPress is the ability to edit your menu anytime you want and to make changes to it and to add to it. But it can be confusing if you haven't used a menu before. So let's have a bit of a look at the menu on my page here. So if we come into the page where I've been playing and making examples, you notice we've got a menu, we've got home, privacy policy, blog, generated homepage and my biography. And this is the page that we're on right now. Now, I mean, they're all out of order probably is the best way to look at it. Um, we've got a home link, which we don't actually really need. And one of the reasons for that is that the logo is always a home link these days. And that's a pretty standardized sort of thing, has been for about five to six years. So you don't have to have a home link. But how do you fix your menu? Well, we go into WordPress and we go into appearance. Under appearance is kind of all the stuff to do with layout. And uh, so we come down to menus here. And you'll see we only have one menu created and you can see these links. So we've got home, privacy, blog, generated. So the first thing we need to know is that you can move the pages order around nice and easy. All it is is drag and drop. So you just pick something up and move it there. Pick it up, move it there. So if I'm my biography second, I can just move it up and there it is. Now, that's pretty simple. If I go save menu and I refresh this, you'll now see my biography second. Okay, so the second thing is that we can actually have menu in hierarchical audio, audio, hierarchical order <laughs> so that it has things in drop down menus. And that's nice and easy to do. So for example, I can bring this, this page up here and if you can see those dotted lines moving, when I let go and go save, and then come here and refresh my page, You'll notice I now have that little drop down and here's my new page. Now, the colors and all that depend on the way that the theme set up for your website, but that's irrelevant. The point is that that's how you make a drop down. Now, drop downs can have multiple levels. So if I come in like that, now I've got two. If I come in a bit further, I get three levels of menu. So let's refresh this. And now you'll see my biography and it comes out. Okay. So yeah, you know, different menus obviously lay out differently. That's all in the control of the menu itself within the site thing. So we can move things around. If we just want to move them back into the main menu, we can just do it like that. Okay, so what if we've got something there that we don't want in the menu? So we've got this one called um, generated homepage. Well, I don't want that anymore. So if I click this little arrow, I can just click remove and it's gone. Sample page, remove, and it's gone. Now, easy enough, privacy policy. When I look at it here, do I really need it to say privacy policy? Well, not really, it's a lot of words and you have limited space there for your menu. So let's make that work a little bit better. All we have to do is just remove that like that and go save and refresh. And now it just says privacy. So we've gained a bit of space. It's still effective. Biography's there, home's there. But it says my biography. Well, duh, it's a biography. Um, you know, uh, it's normally about the person, whether you wrote it or someone else wrote it, whatever biography. Um, but, you know, it really doesn't need the my part. So let's get rid of biography. And do we really need the full word? Not really. Most people know what a bio is. And we refresh and hey presto, the name of the menu's changed, but you notice it hasn't affected the name of the page. It doesn't change that, it just changes the name on the menu there. And up the top here, you'll notice it still says biography. So it hasn't actually changed the URL, the address of the web page either. So it's purely a cosmetic change. Now, it might be called biography, but isn't really the about us page or the about me page well, you can change the name of it to anything you like it's absolutely irrelevant what you want so these are the basic functions of building a menu in wordpress but what if you want to link to other things well over here if there's something you want to add into your menu so we deleted the sample page from the menu if i click on this and go add to menu you'll now see it's back in the menu 
and I can move that around depending on where I want it. Now, there's only four pages listed here, but you might have 100 pages in your website. How do you find the one you want to put in the menu? Well, view all gives you all of them um, or search. So if I start typing, you'll notice the page comes up and then I can click the arrow in here and add to menu. Nice and simple, isn't it? Okay, so just going to save my menu. What about I've got a really powerful post that I want to have in my menu. So sometimes we create what we call cornerstone content, which are really important, like um, how to launch your first podcast might be the post, but you really want it in a menu because it's a killer piece of content. Well, you can just come in here and do the search thing, or if it's listed, just add that post to your menu. And same rules apply, nothing changes, you can move them around. What if you want to link to another website? So just say you've got two websites and you want to link to another website. Well, you can do that. Just like that. And hey presto, there's my new menu item. It's custom linked to my business site. Save menu, refresh. Oh, sorry, just due to the style of the menu here, it's added that to this little area there. But normally it would be next to blog. Okay, so you always discover things. If I move that up, let's see what happens, whether it leaves it there. So we'll save that menu and let's see what happens here. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's in the menu where we wanted it. If I click that, it takes me away to my business site. Okay to web marketing. So nice and simple. Now, the other thing you can do is you can link to a category of blog posts. So just say you've got a category called news, you can actually choose that category and add it to the menu. Okay, it's not difficult to do, nice and easy. So let's just tidy this up a bit and get rid of these pages that we don't need anymore. Save our menu and come back and hey presto so that's how you use the menu function uh, there is other sorts of menus you can add and you can have things like this here automatically add all new top level pages to this menu i recommend you don't do that because if you do have that every time you make a new page it'll stick it in the menu it'll blow your menu apart so there's that and display location probably a good idea to tick primary that way the website knows that this is the main menu for the website okay and just save that. Now you can create multiple menus. You notice here, create a new menu. So if you want to create a small menu for a footer or a special menu for somewhere else in the page, like a sidebar, you can create another menu. And up under here is manage locations. You got primary and we've assigned that one. Okay. Um, so that's pretty well all there is to do with menus. It's pretty straightforward, but it can be confusing if you haven't used it before. So. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, please share this video with uh, your friends and anybody else that might be interested in learning how to use their WordPress site to sell more and to manage it themselves. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.